Praise God, praise God. Welcome, beloved, to this segment where we bring you daily excerpts from the Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris Oyakilomi. Today, you'll be listening to the article titled Inhabitants of the Heavenly Jerusalem. Hallelujah. The opening verse is read from Psalm chapter 50, verse 2, and it writes, Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God had shined. Praise the Lord. Paul, in his letter to the Galatian Christians, referenced the allegory of Sarah and Hagar in Galatians chapter 4. Through the two women, Abraham had two sons, Ishmael and Isaac. Sarah and Hagar represented two covenants. Hagar stands for Mount Sinai in Arabia and is a figure of the present city of Jerusalem in the Middle East, which the Bible says is in slavery with all its peoples. And you can read this reference in Galatians chapter 4 verse 25. Then there is the Jerusalem which is above, but Jerusalem which is above is free, which is the mother of us all. How beautiful! Read the 30th to 31st verses. Nevertheless, what saith the scripture? Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free. Praise the Lord. The Jerusalem which is above is the mother of us all. That is the one to which we belong. We are there now. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 22 tells us, But ye are come unto Mount Zion, and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. In Isaiah chapter 60 verse 14, in the message translation, Zion refers figuratively to Israel as the people of God. The descendants of your oppressor will come bowing and scraping to you. All who look down at you in contempt will lick your boots. They will confer a title on you. City of God, Zion of the Holy of Israel. Hallelujah. But today, in the New Testament, Zion refers to God's spiritual kingdom, which we are a part of. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 18 and verses 22 to 23 in the message translation says, Unlike your ancestors, you did not come to Mount Sinai, all that volcanic blaze and earth-shaking rumble. No, that is not your experience at all. You have come to Mount Zion, the city where the living God resides. The invisible Jerusalem is populated by throngs of festive angels and Christian citizens. It is the city where God is judged, with judgments that make us just. Hallelujah! So in the mind of God, we live in Zion, the heavenly Jerusalem, now, in the same way that the natural-born Jews live in Jerusalem that is in the Middle East. Hallelujah! Glory! We are living in that city now. We are not waiting to get there. We were born there. Praise the Lord. Let us boldly declare this confession together. I am not of this world. I'm born from heaven and live the life of heaven now in the earth. I'm conscious of my heavenly blessings, rights and privileges and I will walk in them to, to the full. Hallelujah! We encourage you to study these scriptures further for more insight into the topic we discussed today, all taken from the book of Psalms. In Psalm chapter 48 verse 11 in the Amplified Classic Translation, Psalm chapter 50 verse 2, Psalm chapter 69 verse 34, and Psalm chapter 69 verses 35 to 36. Glory be to God! The Bible says in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. But through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Refuse to be ignorant of God's word, especially in these last days, and subscribe to this daily devotional to receive teachings like this every day from our man of God. Invite others to join in with you and learn or share this link with all those in your sphere of contact. You can also download a copy of the Rhapsody of Realities from the link in our description. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you continue to take the gospel to those in your world. Hallelujah! We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ 
the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.